We're at lesson 11.4 about two-dimensional shapes. This is 11.3 in Goat Math textbooks with a 2012 copyright. A two-dimensional shape has two measures, a length and a width. They are also called 2D shapes. The D is for dimensions. We can name two-dimensional shapes by knowing the number of sides and vertices. This has one, two, three sides. It has one, two, three vertices. It's a triangle. A triangle has three sides and three vertices. A quadrilateral has four sides, four vertices. A pentagon has five sides, five vertices. And a hexagon has six sides, six vertices. Did you notice their number of sides is the same as their number of vertices? So let's review that again. This is a triangle. It's got three sides and three vertices. It's got one, two, three sides and one, two, three vertices. This is a quadrilateral. It has four sides, one, two, three, four, and it has four vertices, one, two, three, four. This is a pentagon. It's got five sides, one, two, three, four, five, and it has five vertices, one, two, three, four, five. This is a hexagon. It's got six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can use dot paper to draw two-dimensional shapes. We use dots at the corners where the sides of the shape meet. And we use a straight edge to draw the sides. That way we know they're straight. So this is telling us we need three straight sides. So we need to make a two-dimensional shape with three straight sides. We start with a dot for a corner. We can choose any dot, so I can choose this one. And I can use my straight edge to make one side. And then I meet at a dot. I can choose any dot. That's two sides. Three sides. And I've got three straight sides. I made a triangle. This says to make four straight sides. We can take our straight edge and we start at a dot for the corner. We can do this one and we take our straight edge and we need four straight sides. That's one. That's two. That's three. Let me connect it up here. That's four. Eh, I could have been a little straighter, couldn't I? But we made a quadrilateral. We made a rectangle. And we could have we could have made many shapes. We could have made a triangle that had one, two, three, like that. We could have done a quadrilateral that wasn't a rectangle. We could have gone one, two, three, four. That's got four straight sides and that's a quadrilateral. A triangle is any two-dimensional shape that has three sides and three vertices. If it has three straight sides and three vertices, it's a triangle. And it doesn't matter how it's shaped. It could be skinny like this, or it could be tall. It's still a triangle. A quadrilateral is any two-dimensional shape that has four sides and four vertices. So you would think that it would just be a square or a rectangle, but all of these are quadrilaterals. We have one, two, three, four sides, and it has four vertices. This one has one, two, three, four sides and four vertices. Even this one has one, two, three, four sides. These are all quadrilaterals.
A pentagon is any two-dimensional shape that has five sides and five vertices. We have one, two, three, four, five sides. It's got five vertices. It's a pentagon. Look at this one. It looks like this one got squished and flattened. It's got one, two, three, four, five sides and five vertices. Even this one, it has one, two, three, four, five sides, and it has one, two, three, four, five vertices. A hexagon is any two-dimensional shape that has six sides and six vertices. You might be used to seeing it look like this, but these are also hexagons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sides and six vertices. Even this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. And this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. So they can be any two-dimensional shape if it has the right number of sides and the right number of vertices. And be careful when counting the sides and vertices. Make sure to count them so you're counting one time each. Starting at the top and going in one direction can help. If we're counting the red vertices, we start here and go one, two, three. If we're counting the blue sides, we go one, two, three. If we're going in the same direction, counting the vertices, we won't count them more than once by accident. Same with the sides. If we try counting the sides for this shape and we don't go in the same direction, we could say one, two, three, four, oh, where am I? Is that five? Did I count this one already? Is that six? Did I count this one already? So it's a lot easier to start at one spot and go in the same direction around the shape. This one says, Bob draws a pentagon and two triangles. How many sides does Bob draw all together? So we think we can make a quick drawing of the shapes to count the sides. A pentagon, do you remember how many sides a pentagon has? It has five sides and a triangle that has three sides. He drew two triangles. Now we can count the sides. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven sides. We had five plus three plus three. That's the same as five plus six, isn't it? Five plus six is eleven. This is telling us to count the sides and vertices of these shapes. And it's telling us to put all of the quadrilaterals into this circle. So we think, how many sides does a quadrilateral have? Do you remember? If you said four, you're right. We need to find shapes that have four sides. And because the sides are the same number as the vertices, it will have four vertices. Do you see any right away that have four sides? I see this one right away. It's got one, two, three, four. So we know this one's a quadrilateral. We can put it inside the circle. Do you see another one? This is a triangle, so we can move that one away. I see this one. It's got one, two, three, four. That's a quadrilateral. We can put it in the circle. How about this one? I see one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That's too big. That's a hexagon. Too many sides. What about this one? I count one, two, three, four sides. That's a quadrilateral. Do you see any other ones? This rectangle, that's easy. That's definitely a quadrilateral. That's got four sides. What about this one that looks like an arrowhead? 
we've got one, two, three, four sides. Four, five sides. Mm, that's a pentagon. And this one's shaped sort of like a diamond, isn't it? We've got one, two, three, four sides. What about this one? We've got one, it's mm, five sides. That's a pentagon. So that's not going to go in the circle. So these are all quadrilaterals. They all have four sides and four vertices. So be careful when you're counting the sides and vertices. Try to go in one direction so that you don't repeat yourself and count one two times by accident. Our next lesson, we're going to talk about the angles in two-dimensional shapes. I hope you have a really wonderful day. I hope you're doing well, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.